So your fingerprint sensor works like this, but you want it to work like this, and you've come to the right place. What's up guys, Eric here from TechSode TV, and today we're gonna to take a look at how to make the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor a lot more accurate. And there's more to it than registering the same finger multiple times, that's one of the steps, uh, but you definitely gotta do more than that to get the fastest response for the fingerprint sensor. So first thing you wanna do is go into your settings. So we're gonna swipe down, tap the settings gear. You're gonna scroll down to biometrics and security, tap that. Then you're gonna to go to fingerprints, tap that. And we're just gonna go ahead and delete the existing fingerprint. So just tap it, then tap remove and confirm. Now we're gonna add a fingerprint. When you're scanning your finger, you can see here that the image is telling you to scan it like this, bring your thumb in and kind of scan it that way. But it's not often that you're ever actually gonna hold your phone this way. So what I recommend to do is to pick the phone up like you normally would and then scan it just like that. So this is how I typically hold the phone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep scanning it kind of like this. And the other thing that's good to do too is to hold it in different orientations. So even things like put it in your pocket, then take it back out of your pocket, and then just see how your finger naturally rests on it after you take it out of your pocket. Or hold it upright and scan it that way. Or a whole bunch of different orientations of how you're actually gonna be holding the device in real life. That's how you wanna scan it when you're setting up your fingerprint. The other thing you don't wanna do is use the tip of your finger. Now you can get a couple scans in with a tip, but don't really focus on using the tip of your finger because if you work with your hands at all, this is gonna be pretty calloused so it's not gonna read that well. So when you do try to unlock your phone and when you're setting up the scanning, it's really best to use the meaty part of your finger. And the last thing you don't wanna do is press super hard. You do wanna press down, but you don't wanna to try to crush it. Basically, if your nail is turning white, then you're pushing too hard. Once you finish scanning your finger multiple times, you wanna tap this check added fingerprints. And you just wanna go ahead and put your thumb on there and see which fingerprint pops up most often. So as you can see, pretty much every single time, it's fingerprint two. So what that tells me is that my second scan, when I did fingerprint two, that was the most accurate scan I did. And as you can see, it's, it's almost never showing up any of the other scans. It's, it still hasn't shown one, three, four, or any of them. So what that tells me is that since fingerprint two was such a good scan, I can just delete one, three, and four, and my phone is still gonna unlock super fast. Now the reason it's important to delete the other fingerprints that don't really register too much when you're checking the fingerprints is because that allows you to now scan other fingers. So obviously you want your dominant thumb to be scanned and be the best, but then you also wanna be able to unlock your phone with your off hand. So for me, that'd be my left hand. So I know that fingerprint four wasn't a good match. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a fingerprint again. And now I'm gonna focus on my left thumb. But something that a lot of people don't know about this is that you don't have to continue scanning the same finger. So I rarely pick the phone up with my left hand. So I wanna be able to unlock it with my left hand, but I also wanna be able to unlock it with my index finger in case the phone is down on the table. So in this case, I'll go ahead and place my index finger on it as well and kind of turn the phone around in a few different orientations that it may be in when I'm scanning my index finger. And let's go ahead and we'll scan my left finger as well. So right now I've got three fingerprints that I am scanning with this. So now when I tap check added fingerprints and I scan my right index finger, you can see that that is registered as fingerprint four. And my left thumb is also registered as fingerprint four. And my left index finger is also registered as fingerprint four. The other thing to remember is that you get a max of four fingerprints, which is why it's so important that you can scan multiple fingers with a single fingerprint. The other thing that I recommend you do is to actually turn off face recognition because face recognition works really quickly. So a lot of times you're gonna pick your phone up and it's just gonna unlock super fast because of the face recognition. But if you want to have flawless fingerprint scanning, then you need to kind of get some muscle memory built up to know exactly where that scanner is. So if face recognition is off, that forces you to have to learn where that scanner is. Now, obviously after you know a week or so of learning where the fingerprint scanner is and getting used to it, you can turn face recognition back on and use both of them. But I do think that it'd be very beneficial not to use face recognition when you're getting used to the fingerprint sensor. Something else to know is that while you can unlock your phone while the screen is off, so here I have my always on display on. If I put my thumb down here, it's going to unlock. It will unlock faster if you have the screen on. So now the screen's on, I'm gonna put my thumb on. That's how fast that is. If I turn the screen off and do it again, you can see that it's a little bit longer because it has to activate before actually scanning my finger. 
So if you wanna have even faster scanning, when you take your phone out of your pocket, try to just double tap the screen real quick to turn it on before you actually get the phone up in front of you so that by the time it's in front of you, you're already on your lock screen and then you can just drop your thumb on the bottom and then you get right into your phone. Alternatively, I guess you could just try to get really good at knowing where the fingerprint sensor is uh, while your phone is in your pocket so that you just put your finger right on the sensor in your pocket and by the time you pull it out, uh, you're already unlocked. I think that's gonna be a lot harder to do, but uh, if you could pull that off, good for you. The last thing to do to get even more accurate fingerprint scanning is to remove the screen protector that came with the Galaxy S10. Now I haven't removed the screen protector on mine, and as you can see here, it unlocks really quickly uh, even with the screen protector on. So I don't think you're gonna need to do that. I think if you apply all of these other techniques that I just showed you, you're not gonna need to remove that screen protector. But if you want the fastest response you could possibly get and those extra milliseconds matter to you, then yeah, you can take that screen protector off and it'll probably make a little bit of a difference. Let me know down in the comments below if these tips worked out well for you. And if you have any other tips that weren't mentioned in this video, go ahead and drop those down below too. As always guys, like it if you liked it, share it if you loved it, and subscribe to see my upcoming Galaxy S10 Plus coverage. And don't forget to smack that notification bell so you can be the first to know when the videos drop. And while you're at it, follow me on Twitter at TechSODTV to see behind the scenes footage, as well as tips and tricks that don't always make it into YouTube videos. That's it for this Techisode. God bless guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.